back to my channel. I have another really, really exciting video for you guys. So everything five pounds has just been calling me so much recently and right here, this box, right here, off to the side, just here, is huge and it's full of shoes. Again, I have a problem. <laughs> I am well aware I have a huge massive problem. I still have, and this is what I'm looking at right now, the pile of shoes from my last few Everything Five Pounds haul. Sitting there staring at me, going, Leo, what are you doing? You're buying too many shoes right now, you need to stop. But I couldn't help myself. So, I saw these shoes and I liked, I bought, I wanted to try for you guys. I think there is one pair that is absolutely ridiculous and I don't know how you could wear them. So I'm just really, really excited to get into this box. And if you are brand new to my channel and you want to see some more crazy shoe videos and clothing videos from everything five pounds and other stores that are very, very similar, then do feel free to subscribe to my channel down below and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. But I can't wait to show you these shoes. I can't wait to actually see these shoes. These have been sitting in my little studio for ages now, so I can't wait to get into this box. I'm really excited. So let's get into the video. Okay, so let's have a look, see what we've got. We have this one. We're gonna start with these. Don't know what they are. Katisa. Katisa, I think it catch Katisa. Yes. I assume it's Katisa. Right. So let's have don't know where I'm putting the box. Okay, box is going there. Let's have a look at these. Oh, I remember seeing these and being like, I need. And they ooh, they're they're attached to each other. I, I'm gonna have to show you both from together. I'm sorry guys. We're gonna have to skip to the let's see what they look like together. Okay, so <laughs> this is the pair of shoes. And wow, I love that colour. It's like a mink, isn't it? That's absolutely gorgeous. And this style of shoe, like, what do we think of these? They're like shoe booties that aren't booties, but they aren't shoes either, because they're like boots. I love this little buckle detail, and I th it's a real buckle, you can actually undo that. That is so, so cool. I think this is really cute at the front, so if you've got high instep, fingers crossed, I am hoping that these are gonna fit really, really well for a high instep because they have that extra room. Brilliant! They do have a massive platform in these, so these are not actually gonna feel that tall on. I mean, look at that heel. That heel is massive, but the platform literally comes to here. So you're gonna be taking off an inch of that shoe. So the heel is only gonna be that big, which is crazy, that's awesome. So hopefully these will be really, really comfortable. I did get them in a 7, I'm sure I did. Euro 40, so yes, I got them in a 7. We all know that everything £5 with my feet, they tend to come up a little bit small, so a size 7 fits me perfectly. So, we are going to try these on and see what they're like. They're, they are like a suede again, which is quite nice, but a lot of shoes are actually suede at the minute. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying these on. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to balance very well in them, but Let's try these on and see what they look like. So, what do we think of these shoes? Now, they were so difficult to actually get your foot into because of the angle that your foot actually goes into them. And they are as tall as they kind of look. I mean, they, they're really, really comfortable, actually. I'm finding that they're really comfy, apart from on the balls of my feet, because of the angle of that heel there and the angle that it actually goes so flat, if you understand what I mean, underneath the ball of your foot. It's not so comfortable on the ball of your foot, where your feet actually are and where your toes actually meet the ball of your foot. But other than that, these are really cool. I actually kind of like them. And I weirdly enough, really like that point on the front. It's almost like a little bit of a cute pixie vibe that's kind of got a little bit of sex appeal to it. I think that's really, really cool. And I think the suede actually goes really, really well with them as well. And to be honest, I actually thought that they would be really unstable, you know, because of that weird heel at the back, it's quite low. But it actually fits almost perfectly with like, you know, when you bend your heel, it fits really perfect there, which is really, really good. Really easy to walk in, super, super easy to walk in. I don't feel like I'm going to fall over at all. And the platform makes you look absolutely massive and I think they do quite a lot of favours for your ankles and your legs as well. So overall, I think they're really, really cute. I did have to undo the buckle to get them on. Really good for anyone that does have high-end steps. So yeah, overall, I think they are really, really 
cute and you know yeah I do like them really really nice super comfortable and oh I really do like them yay okay so diving in for the next one let's go for all CHC shoes these do good shoes okay all these are heavy so we've got CHC wow <gasps> okay I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a story as I go through these because I've got a lot of shoes in this box so what actually happened was Dan really wanted a Harley so we went over to Harley Davidson in Nottingham this was quite a while ago we were looking at bikes and stuff and I was like, I really, really like this one. So I, I wander off into the clothing and I'm like, oh, I'll just have a look at some boots because I want some like bikery style boots. Not for going out on a bike on, but just for general everyday wear because I haven't actually got any and I really like biker style boots. I didn't get any because they were 110 pounds and I thought for a Harley Davidson logo on it, mm, I could probably find some somewhere else. So that's what I did. I went hunting and I found these. It's, it's taken me a year, but I've found these. What do we think of these boots? These are cool. Oh, these are amazing. I mean, they've got a zip here, which is really stiff, actually, very stiff. Oh, they are a size seven, so Euro 40 again, which is really, really good. Um, they don't feel the best of quality. They're definitely a false leather because they're five pounds. But what do we think of those? They are amazing i really like them i love that heel i'm gonna look for like defaults and de defaults defects on there there's there's like the little bits of glue here there and everywhere but it's nothing crazy bad i love these i am sold i love this detailing around here i love the buckles they are so cool and you can actually undo them i think you could if you really tried but you'd have to take this off because i don't think that is going to go through there but I'm guessing you could take it off, alter it, and then stick it back on, because on the back is literally just like that. So, fair enough. But yes, yeah, so let me get the other one out, and then we can have a look at them together, and then get them tied up. So, this is the pair together, and what do we think? I honestly think that these are so cool. <gasps> and they're soft on, wow, they're soft on the inside. I didn't realize that. These boots. I really hope that they fit really nicely on because I absolutely adore these. I just, they're amazing. Look at them, they're amazing. <laughs> I really, really like these boots. Okay, so let's get these boots tried on and see what they look like because yes, please. <laughs> so these are the biker-esque boots. What do you guys think about these? Honestly, they're really tight around my instep. I struggled to kind of get the zip zipped up all the way to the top, but it did go. I think you could probably loosen off the buckles to give it a little bit more stretch, but I think if you wear them, then, you know, they will definitely, definitely stretch, especially if you put some socks on with them as well. See, I'm only wearing some light pop socks, so I need something a little bit thicker to like actually stretch them out a little bit. I love the front. I love how it's got like the round square. I think that's really, really sweet. Very, very different. It gives it less of a sort of, you know, like harsh edge to it from it having like a square edge or a point, which is really, really nice. I do really like the buckle detail and the studs as well. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And I like how the buckles and the studs aren't like really, really silver. I like how they're like a muted gunmetal gray. That's really, really cool. The heel is really nice, it's really sturdy. I mean, when I first put them on, I was like, oh, that feels a bit odd. But I think because of how thick the heel actually is, it makes it just that little bit more sturdy and not feel like you're actually going to fall over at all. The inside is so, so soft, really, really soft. It's really, really nice. I'm actually surprised at how comfortable and soft it is. I am actually living for the inside of these. They're so, so soft. They are quite a tight fit. So I'm finding that I couldn't really bend in them unless I've actually worn them for quite a while and actually broken them in. But yes, they do come up a bit high and a bit close to my leg. I'm not really used to boots really being that close to my leg. You can see my ankles here, so it comes to about here. So about three quarter calf length, I think. So it's a bit odd because that's where you do a lot of your bending from. But other than that, I think they're really cool boots. They're nice alternatives to your really expensive biker boots. If you want something that you're not going to wear all the time, but you want it to really look the part and have that heel on there. 
So I would say I am actually quite a fan of these and I really, really like them. So what do you guys think? Would you wear them? Okay, so delving in for the next one. There, there is a giant box here, but I think I might have to leave that because that might be my crazy ones, might not they? I don't know, no. Who to it? Let's open them. What's in here? Ooh. Okay. Oh, all right, okay. So these, well, they got that wrong. Okay, so on the bottom of this, it says 40, which is a size 10. And I'm like, is that American sizes? Because if it's American sizes, a size 10 is a UK 8. So I think that that's a bit wrong and they're gonna be a little bit huge. Um, they look massive. But we'll see when we try them on. So let's just, let's just have a look at these boots. These boots, I don't know about the color. I think the color is a little bit too in your face, really. But overall, I think they are quite a nice boot. They're really, really soft, so they'd be so soft on. They do have a zip on the inside there as well, which is really helpful because I'm sure if you have had lace up boots like this before, you can't bother to lace them up every single time you put them on. So literally, it's good just to lace them up, tie them, double knot them, triple knot them, just leave them in a knot, and then use your zip. Genius! Yes, that's cool, I like that. I do like the lace detail on there. I would probably have to change it so the laces actually went across like this and not cross over because that's just me. This is where you know somebody, <laughs> somebody used to wear a lot of trip tailors when they were younger is that they have it going over and not crisscross. Um, the sole actually looks really, really good. It's really thick. I don't think it's real rubber though, which is odd. It's a very strange, of course it's rubber, but it's very, very hard. But it might be a bit of a hard wearing sole, so that's really cool. They are like a suede again, which is really nice. But the only thing is because they're boots, you probably are gonna wear them in winter, so having suede boots is probably not the best thing in the world, but you know, it's sort of our fashion statement at the end of the day, isn't it? For some of us anyway. But let's get the other one out, we can see what they look like together and then get them tried on. So these are the pair together and they are actually pretty cool. I don't mind them. They are literally just like a knocking around boot. So like you just put them on if you're walking the dog or if you just pop into the shop, or you just wanna be a little bit warmer when it comes around to fall. I think these are a really, really cool boot. I like the fact that they are soft, they're not too thick. It's not gonna take a lot of breaking in for them. So that's really, really cool. Um, the only little defect that I can see is there is a bit here where it's not been cut properly and it's kind of flappy open, but you know, never mind. They're gonna be on your feet. You're not gonna be looking at them all the time unless someone's there like, I see a defect on your feet just down there. You know, I'm gonna like zoom in with my goggles and have a look. No one does that. That's just weird. So yeah, I think these are really, really cool. I do like them. Good knocking around boot. So let's get them tried on. See if they are massive because it's saying that they're a 10. And uh, yeah, let's see what they look like. Okay, so as suspected, the sizing was completely wrong for these on their website. I don't know if they actually sent me the wrong size or they've just completely sized it wrong. So I won't be keeping these at all. They are absolutely massive. So if you are buying these, size down because they're all incorrectly sized, I would assume, unless I've just got a really dud pair. Other than that, I think they look quite cool. I think they're like a really nice kind of industrial boot. I think they'd look good if you undid them and folded them down as well. That's great. But it's a real surprise because I've not actually had to undo the laces so that I could get the zip up. My calf is quite a large calf on both sides and I normally find I have to undo laces or whatever else to be able to get zippers up. But these actually fit really, really comfy. Pretty much managed to get the zip all the way to the top, which is really, really good. Um, I'm not, oh, I don't really know about the color of these. I think these kind of boots need to be really dark or really light and kind of like a gray kind of color. So I'm not a massive fan of this kind of color. The heel is comfortable. It feels pretty much flat, but like I've said to you guys before, I am very heel heavy. So having that little bit of a heel makes it actually feel like I'm standing quite flat, which is good. They are massive. You can see where my actual toe is there and where the bend is in my foot. So they're a bit like clown shoes. So definitely size down, unless I have a dud pair. If I have a dud pair, then I will definitely let you know. If I don't, definitely size down. These are supposed to be a seven. On the actual boot underneath, it says that they're a size 10, which if you're actually in America, they go up two sizes. So if it was an American size pair, it would say a size nine on it, but they say a size 10. So I'm guessing that they're actually a UK size eight and they've been labeled wrong on the box. So that's where I'm coming from with that. So just be careful if you are ordering these. 
overall they are a pretty cool industrial boot if you like these kinds of boots that's brilliant I'm just really disappointed with the sizing okay so I'm gonna delve in for the next pair Ooh, I have a really big box at the bottom. Yeah, okie dokie. I've got a lot of trainery booty things. Ooh, oh, I saw these and really wanted them. Okay, so these are a bit like wellies at the front here, which is odd, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect them to be so wide either. But these are like little trainers and, oh, yes, you can unfold them. Look at that. That is so cool. So I got these in a seven again. They do actually look quite small, but I think that they'll be fine. Oh, they're wicked. Do you know what? I really, really like these actually. I'm gonna fold them back down. But they do just have poppers to actually keep that down there, which is really cool. And then that is the tongue. So it does have quite a long tongue, but if you're wearing them as like work boots, that's cool. I actually kind of really, really like that. I didn't know whether I would like the colour. I thought I'll take a chance on this colour because I haven't really had anything in camel that's like a trainer or like a boot. But this actually looks really quite cool. It looks very industrial. It's really, really nice. I do actually quite like it. It has quite a good sole on it there, which I'm actually quite impressed about. It is fully rubber, so I think that is literally just going to stick to the floor and you're not going to go anywhere. Brilliant. And then you've got the laces, which are lovely thick laces. They don't feel cheap. Brilliant. So I'm actually really, really excited about these. I mean, they do feel like a full rubber shoe with the canvas in the inside. So that's quite cool. So let me get the other one out. I'll show you what they like and we can try them on. So this is the pair together and what do you guys think? I think these are just a really, really cool trainer. They give it a really, really cool look. There's so many different ways that you could actually wear these, which is absolutely brilliant. I'm so for that. And I like how big these tongs are. I think they're really, really cool. It's nice they just flop over there. So these, hopefully, will look really awesome on. So let's go and try it on and see what they're like. Okay, so in massive contrast to the lace-up boots, these are actually really small. These are a seven and they feel like I've squeezed myself pretty much into a size five. These are really tiny. I probably should have gone with an eight for these because they would have been the correct size. They literally, my feet feel like if I wore them for any longer than about a couple of hours, my toe would literally poke out the front of them. It's so bad. I mean, they are fully rubber, I think, because they feel like wellies. They're just, they're really odd. I will also say that on the inside, they do have a weird seam which runs down here. So it's not actually been finished off properly and there's no like inside lining there to actually stop it rubbing. And it's rubbing so much. It's actually kind of making my foot really, really sore. So, hmm, they look okay. They're not like my favorite thing that I've ever tried on. I mean, they are, they are so small. They are so teeny tiny. That, no matter what we do with this, that is not gonna stay down there at all. No matter what I do with that. Let's try putting one up so we can actually see what it looks like with this up. There we go, so that's what it looks like up, which is actually quite cool. It's a quite, like, it's a really nice kind of casual, almost industrial looking boot. So you could wear them either way. The sizing comes up small. You have an annoying bit on the inside, which is actually rubbing on your foot. So you definitely need to size up. You definitely need to wear some sort of thick socks where you're not gonna be annoyed by that little bit of inside seam. Other than that, they're okay. Not my favorite though. Okay, so delving in for my next pair of shoes ideal shoes i am in love with ideal shoes right now i'm looking over there in my pile and like, ideal shoes ideal shoes ideal shoes ideal shoes <laughs> like i have a really big problem let's have a look and see what these are like and just looking through the little protective bags that they come in i like them quite a lot oh my god <laughs> okay Oh, I, I have a shoe issue. I have an issue, guys. Okay. These are what you call extra. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you think of these? Like, really, well, honestly, what do you think of these? They are a little bit like the red shoe boot that I actually got in, was it my last Everything Five Pounds shoe haul? A bit like that, but they have the skinny stiletto heel. They have a really beautiful zip there. They are in cream. Oh, and it's such a gorgeous cream as well. I absolutely adore it. They have the same sort of buckles, but these ones look like they can be altered. 
and this stud detail. Do you know, I'm, I'm living for this stud detail right now. I think this is gorgeous. Like, wow. It's like, the inside of the boot is just like, hi, there's not really anything special about me. And then it's like, bam. I am gobsmacked at that. It just, they look so much nicer than I actually thought they would when I saw the picture. I was like, oh, I'll get them because they're really extra and they're really cool. And I want to try them on because I'm starting to really enjoy boots like this. Um, so yeah, that was my thought process behind that. But I love these. These look amazing. Oh my God. Okay, so let me get the other one out and we will have a look at them because I'm really excited. And all I want to do is just try these on. In like, like the other boots, they do have like that gap down there. So hopefully, for those with high insteps, it's going to be a great boot. So let's get the other one out and I'll show you what they look like together. And ladies, we have spare heels as well. You know what I'm like with spare heels. Love having spare heels for shoes in boxes. Perfect. If you didn't know why I like them, then message me and I'll send you to the video where... I actually spoke about them, but I can't remember what video it is, so I'd have to hunt for it. So this is the pair together, and what are we thinking? What are we thinking? I think these are amazing. And I've just noticed Ideal Shoes do actually do this underneath on their shoes, which is really, really cool. It's just an I and a D for Ideal Shoes, obviously. But yes, look at those. They are, they're stunning. I'm sorry, but they are like extra and stunning. The only thing that I've found is it looks like there's a little bit of glue there, but it just seems to be coming off with a little bit of help. So that's really cool. But overall, these are amazing. I love these. I think they're gorgeous. I cannot wait to try them on. So there's only one thing for it. Let's get these sexy little boots tried on. So out of all the shoes or boots, because they kind of have all been boots really, that I've tried on, these are definitely my favorite. I absolutely adore these. I think they're gorgeous. They're really extra. They just give you that extra little bit of flair on there with all the studs. And the buckles are alterable. You can actually change the buckles. I have changed them onto the very last one, but it's very, very easy. They do fit straight through. I'll show you on this one. There we go. And then you just change the buckle on there. So there we go. That's absolutely brilliant. So if you've got high insteps like me, you can actually change these, which is absolutely perfect. I mean, I love the beige colour of these. I think they're really, really nice. They would look so amazing with skirts, dresses, trousers, leggings, jeggings, whatever you want to wear them with. I think these are absolutely stunning. I do absolutely love them and I cannot wait to wear them out and about. They are surprisingly comfortable as well. You could walk around for ages in these. The heel isn't as big as it actually looks. So these are just really, really comfy and I could wear them for ages. So these ones are absolutely sold. I really, really like them. They do make a really strange sort of wishy noise when you walk in them, but I suppose they're like false leather, so you're going to get that. But honestly, I love the look of these really, Really love the look of these and I cannot wait to wear them. Okay, so delving in, I've got I've got two left, so I'm gonna <laughs> leave the great big ones till last. Lauren Pronounce it because I can't. So this is a box that I've never seen before from everything five pounds. <laughs> I've just hit the camera with the box. So oh dear. Um anyway, a box that I've never had from everything five pounds before, so Let's have a look and see what shoes we've actually got. And I did actually get some Perspex shoes. <laughs> hmm. So, you guys know if you see my other videos that I have actually tried on Perspex shoes before. These are the shoes. I don't know what I think. If the camera goes dark, by the way, I think we've got some dark clouds going over, just so you're aware. So, these are the shoes. They are Perspex. I've got this lovely pattern down here with holes in. So, hopefully, your feet aren't going to get too hot in that. So we have a peep toe, we've got the usual zip down the back that won't undo. Why will you not undo? That may need some force when I try them on, but that zip is that zip is not working at all. Okay, so I am noticing some faults with this one. So we have some glue, I don't know where that is, maybe it's on the inside of the perspex, but you can see that here. There is a stain here as well, not sure what that is. There's a stain across here, there's one here, and also we have some material that seems to be stuck there. I think that's with glue. Oh, got it. So yeah, there's, there's still glue stains on there. So we have a few faults like that, but honestly, they are a fiver, so 
still not too bad, I suppose. I mean, there is bits of stuff all over it. I have no idea what it is. But that is the shoe. There are a couple of holes there just to let some air in there as well. I'm guessing it does look like the sole is actually going to be really nice and quite soft. It is, again, like a suede, which is really, really nice. Weirdly enough, I do kind of like these. Um, yeah, I did get them in the 7 again, so they should fit just fine. But yeah, let me get the other one out, and we'll see what they're like together, and then we can get them tried on. So this is the pair together, and it's been folded there and glued, so you can actually see that. If I'm honest, I would say that out of all of the shoes I've got in this haul, these are probably the most disappointing because they've not been put together very well. I mean, they, they are a fiver, so that's the one thing you've got to bear in mind. All of these shoes and boots are actually a five pounds. So maybe they've not been put together very well, but should that really matter as you're seeing as you're paying five pounds for something? Yeah, so they haven't really been put together that well, but they are stupidly cheap. So these are the shoe boot things. I have tried the zip on both sides. I am struggling with both zips, so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get them on. But we will try and see if we can get them on. There are a lot of defects in these, which is a little bit disappointing, but we will see what they're like. So let's get them tried on and see what they look like. Okay, so these shoes actually look really, really cool from the front. I think that they're awesome, the way that they actually look from the front. I mean, you can actually see where my little toe is rubbing because it's gone white, which is obviously not good. That's really, really not cool. You don't want to see that, that just look, that's weird. But I have weird feet anyway, so whatever. The only thing is, I cannot do the zips up at the back. It has taken me probably about 15, 20 minutes to try and get that zip down, so I thought I'm not going to do that up because if I do it up, I'm not going to be able to get these shoes off. I mean, they are really nice shoes. They look really, really cool. They are actually really difficult to walk in. I. I dread to think what they'd actually feel like if you did the zip up because where you actually bend your foot is right at the top of the boot where the plastic is and that is quite painful so you'd probably literally have to walk around like this in the issues which is just defeats the object they are quite painful so even though they look good if you want to sacrifice you know your feet for fashion go for it I mean they, they fit really really well they're just really not comfy and I cannot do that zip up to save my life okay so I'm delving in for the very last box of shoes and I think these are gonna be I've not seen the horrendous ones yet so I I think these are going to be the massive horrendous ones that I'm thinking that they are. So it's FM UK, they're telling you to follow them, um, I've not followed them. That, it looks like they're a British brand from that, but I don't know. Wow. <gasps> wow. I don't know how, I'm going to break myself trying these on guys. This is why the box is so big. Oh, okay. So these are the shoes, and I would just like to point out that there's mould all over them. Like. Why would you leave them somewhere where they would get mould on them? They have mould on the shoe! Oh my god! Okay, so, I am still gonna try these on. I am not gonna clean the mould off. I literally am just gonna put some socks on and try them on for you guys. That, that is really, really disappointing. You never wanna get brand new shoes with mould on because, oh, that's just, that's so bad, that is so bad. I literally should just chuck them back in the box and just send them back. That's really disappointing. Whether your shoes are five pound, one pound, a hundred pound, a thousand pound, doesn't matter. You never ever want to get shoes that have got mold on them. Like seriously, that's mold. I mean, that's really disappointing. Anyway, so these are <laughs> the shoe boots. They are a wedge, heel, high platform thing. I don't know how anybody could wear these. It's absolutely crazy. But that bit is really stretchy, you know, like your old school shoes that you had. Really, really stretchy, so you should be able to get your foot in there no matter the size of your instep or how wide your feet are. Um, it doesn't look like the heel would actually be that big in there. It would probably only be like two and a half inches, I think, with that platform on. Yeah, I think they're really, really cool if you can get away with wearing things like this and if you don't mind receiving things with mould on them. But let's get the other one out and see what it looks like. And if that's got mold on as well because it's just weird so this is the pair together and yes the other one does have mold on as well that is so disappointing i cannot believe that so so disappointed with that other than that they haven't got any defects on they are a size 7 which is a euro 40 so i i think i'm probably going to break my neck trying these on but let's Let's get them tried on and see what they're like. See if they're comfortable, see if they feel as high as they look. I mean, 
Wow, that platform is crazy. So let's get them tried on and see what they're like. Okay, so oddly enough, these are actually really, really light and they're not as high as you think that they are. They're kind of really comfy. I don't feel like I'm gonna wiggle all over the place. And I can completely understand why people can actually go out and wear these day to day, all day, every day, because they're kind of comfy, which is really, really odd. The only issue is because I've got a high instep, my instep is actually rubbing here because this elastic that is actually on the side there goes all the way around the front and it's really, really rubbing on my instep. So definitely one for socks that you can roll down if you do have a high instep. But I'm wearing my pop socks with these and they're all really, really comfy. I don't feel like I'm actually gonna fall over. I could just wear them and do whatever, do a little jig. Jiggly pokey do, what's it? I don't know. I'm banging, the camera's probably going everywhere. But yeah, so I'm actually presently surprised with how these fit, how these feel while they're actually on. The only issue is they are moldy. How do you get moldy shoes? Like really, I don't understand how you can get moldy shoes, so that's really disappointing. But I do actually think that they're pretty cool. So if you're alternative, or you know, you're gothic or you like wearing stuff like this, they're kind of comfy, easy to get on. These are definitely worth it. Just be prepared for them to be a bit mouldy and you having to do some cleaning. So that is everything for my Everything Five Pounds shoe haul, guys. It was probably more of a boot haul than a shoe haul. But what did you guys think? Did you really like this? What were your favourite pair of boots or shoes that I actually got in this haul? So if you did like this video, do feel free to give it a great big thumbs up, show it some love. I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, do subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. But that's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!